The theory of production says that a producer is in equilibrium under two conditions the necessary condition and the sufficient condition. The necessary condition says that a producer will produce at a point where the marginal revenue is equal to the marginal cost. But this condition is not sufficient because the MC curve is U-shaped and it touches the MR curve at two points. Therefore, a sufficient condition is necessary that says that the MC curve must be rising at the point of equilibrium. This video will try to express the mathematical conditions by using the technique of optimization. The main objective of producers is to maximize their profit. Profit or pi is defined as the difference between total revenue and total cost. TR or total revenue and TC or total cost depends on the output Q produced and sold. The economic problem in this case is to obtain the amount of output that will help the producer maximize the profit. For simplicity, let us assume there are no constraints. Let us translate the different concepts used in producer's theory to mathematical language. We will first give a statement of the concepts and then try to express it mathematically. The total cost of production depends on the quantity of output to be produced. Total cost can be expressed as Tc is equal to F of Q. When output changes, the total cost changes. The change in total cost per unit of output is called marginal cost and can be expressed as MC is equal to DDQ of TC. The total revenue also depends on the output. The total revenue earned is the product of the price of the product and the quantity sold and can be expressed as TR is equal to F of Q. When output changes, the revenue changes. The change in total revenue per unit of output is called marginal revenue and can be expressed as MR is equal to DDQ of TR. Let us now get back to the conditions for profit maximization. Necessary condition says that marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost or MR is equal to MC. Graphically, we see that the MR curve and the MC curve intersect at a point and this point gives the equilibrium. At equilibrium, the slope of MR curve and MC is equal. Do you know why? Try to explore the reason from economic theory. Now note the figure. Price and cost are measured on the y-axis and output is measured on the x-axis. The MR curve slopes down and the MC curve initially slopes down, reaches a minimum and then rises. And E is the equilibrium point. By definition, MR is the change in total revenue by change in output. Therefore, the ratio delta TR by delta Q gives perpendicular by base and perpendicular by base is defined as the slope of a curve. Similarly, MC is the change in total cost for a unit change in output. Therefore, the ratio delta TC by delta Q gives the slope of the MC curve. We have seen that at E, MR is equal to MC. Also, 
the slopes of the MR and MC curves are equal. Let us express this condition mathematically. Recall that the first order condition for maximization requires first differentiation to be equal to zero. Therefore, first order condition for maximizing profit will require d pi by dq equal to zero. Since pi is the function that is to be maximized. Now pi is equal to tr minus tc. Therefore, we have ddq of tr minus tc equal to 0 or ddq of tr minus ddq of tc is equal to 0 or ddq of tr is equal to ddq of tc or mr is equal to mc. Now the sufficient condition says that marginal cost must be rising at the point of equilibrium. Let us understand this situation graphically. Economic theory says that a producer will produce at a point where MR is equal to MC. For output less than the equilibrium output, the marginal revenue is greater than the marginal cost and there is scope for increasing the output. Therefore, the producer increases output to a point where MR becomes equal to MC. And as can be seen that before attaining the equilibrium point, the MC curve is rising. Mathematically, the slope of a curve is given by the second derivative. Since the MC curve is rising, the slope of MC curve is greater than the slope of the MR curve. 